And they're off. So the field leave the stores for the Investec Derby of 2016. Port Douglas is hurried up to the lead with Deauville also racing handily and also moving forward in the early stages Shogun. Ulysses up towards the inside as well as they make their way through the first furlong with Port Douglas just taking them along. Towards the outside of the field, both Cloth of Stars racing in a handy position in company as well with Massart who's racing a little keenly as Port Douglas now crosses over and makes his way towards the running rail. In fourth place is Shogun just ahead of Moonlight Music who's towards the inside inside at the moment. Moonlight Magic sitting in about fifth place. As settling just behind those, we have Idaho. Ulysses drops into about midfield with Harzand at the moment and also across the stars. US Army Ranger is given time towards the rear of the field in company with Wings of Desire and having jumped from the outside stall, Red Verdon has been given time as well, crossing right behind the field along with Humphrey Bogart is at the rear of the field. So out in front and at a reasonable gallop, it is Port Douglas who tows the Derby field up the hill and continues the climb from inside second place, the Godolphin Blue Jacket of Cloth of Stars. Third for Moonlight Magic racing on the inside of Massart, within fifth place, the free-sweating Idaho on the outside of Shogun, and then across the Stars. Harzan midfield in company with Ulysses, then Biodynamic, who's just ahead of Deauville, Wings of Desire in those uh, maroon colours. US Army Ranger, the all-dark blue, has Humphrey Bogart and Red Verdon behind, as now the field begin that trademark descent towards Tattenham Corner, and there is no hanging about for Port Douglas out in front. He has gone five or six lengths clear. In second place, Cloth of Stars, Massart, Biodynamic moves up on the outside. Then behind these, we have Idaho, just pushed along to give chase his Moonlight Magic. At this stage, across the stars with Harzand, Algometer comes next with Wings of Desire. US Army Rangers still in no hurry, and right at the back of the field is Red Burden. Port Douglas leads the turn for home, but the pack are right at his heels. Cloth of Stars poised to have first crack. Then Massart pulling out is Idaho. Harzand comes next, pulled towards the outside wings of desire US Army Ranger Red Burden getting a nice seam right up the inside rail Port Douglas is taken on by Cloth of Stars now joining in down the outside is Idaho Harzan comes next Red Burden ran out of room on the inside right down the outside wings of desire and US Army Ranger Idaho strike cab and Harzan are the first to go for home US Army Ranger is now in full cry towards the outside they enter the final furlong Harzan US Army Ranger has got to the leader's girth but has still got to get by as Harzan is pulling out more and it's Harzan in the colours of the Aga Khan who has won the Investec Derby for Pat Smullen and Dermot Weld. US Army Ranger second, Idaho in third in a clean sweep for Ireland. In fourth place, Wings of Desire, Humphrey Bogart, Red Burden, Algometer and Cloth of Stars. A first British Derby for Pat Smullen. You, you held your, your hands to your hat when you crossed the line almost in disbelief but that was some effort from him. Uh, it's, a, it's a childhood dream to win this race and uh, I've been at it a while now and, you know, it's always a race I wanted to win and, uh, you know, it's amazing how this game works, you know, the other horse, we didn't know whether he'd ever get to Epsom, we thought he'd be better suited by the car. And when I got on mid-term, I thought he would be in my ride and I went by the way, so, and then the rain came for this fellow and the boss said, we have to take our chance. And he's a fastly improving horse and, uh, you know, he showed his true ability today because when Ryan came to me, my horse dug deep again, mm. he found another gear and he's a very good horse and, uh, you know, thankfully, you need a little bit of luck. The rain came in the right time. I know you've got to wait and see, but just a couple of questions, if I can. How much were you aware of the scare this morning with regards to Harzan? I was aware of it, yeah, and, uh, you know, it was very uh, anxious time, you know, because, uh, not, not to go into it, but over the past sort of three years, we had horses we thought were good enough to win Epsom Derby, and for one reason, I didn't get here. And I thought, here we go again. And uh, But thankfully, luck was on our side. The team worked brilliantly. The boys, Whacker, Paddy, all the boys did a great job. And I keep saying, you know, it's, I'm privileged to ride these horses, but it's a huge team effort and we all get along really well and uh, the team pulled together today to get this ha to work, pull off this, you know. Were you surprised at how well he handled the track out there? Yeah, he actually didn't come down Tottenham Hill that, that well. He sort of got out in the wrong lead a little bit, but I got back in and uh, he, uh, he, he got down with, with some fluency and I'd like to think he might be even better on a better track. Uh, would you like to see this horse in a, in a St. Ledger, say? No, look, let's go for the Irish Derby now. <laughs> well done, Pat. Thank you.